and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Bant Merfolk to start the day off. That's right, we have two donation decks in Historic that we're going to be starting with. Um, and yeah, we got some Bant Merfolk. Haven't played Merfolk in a while, and we're not even going just regular blue-green Merfolk, which is what you almost always see. We're going Bant. We, we uh, are adding in a third color so that we have Teferi Time Raveler, because we all know how great of a card Teferi Time Raveler is, and Venerate Luxodon. So, you know, like we play a couple of Merfolks, start going wide with the Merfolk, and then boom, get to um, Convoke out Venerate Luxodon, put a lot of power on the board. So we can just even be more aggressive uh, with the Luxodons. I love having four main deck Spell Pierce. I think that's a really good decision. I think Spell Pierce is a very strong card in this deck. I like that one. And we even have some good, like just removal for everything with Conclave Tribunal. So a pretty interesting list. Uh, the one thing I'm a little concerned about is I'm, I'm worried that we have, like that we actually have enough um, creatures for Luxodon. Because, um, uh, you know, really with Luxodon, you want a lot of one drops. We only have eight you know, we have 12 more two drops. So we need to have like multiple of these only 20 cards um, each game. And so I'm, I'm a little worried about that. But besides that, it looks good. Silver Girl Adept gets us some card draw. You know, we have some tricks up our sleeve with the trickster. Um, yeah, so I like what we got going on here. Um, sideboard, uh, love, uh, you know, Ether Gust, Mystical Dispute, two great sideboard cards in historic uh, maybe we'll get somebody with a settle the wreckage uh, johnny's going to be coming in against the mono red decks helping us gain a lot of life plus make our creatures larger and we got some vivian for um the esper control matchup so we can play a longer game so let's go ahead and give this one a try we got bant merfolk um with historic the only way to play um traditional historic ranked <clears throat> the only way to play uh best of three historic is with ranked so even though we're doing donation decks we're playing in ranked yeah this was from the goat boat so that's what all these things up here if you're kind of watching on youtube this means historic and it's a donation deck and we're playing it in ranked We'll play the Chew Lane Adventure in ranked, and probably just the Orzhov Control too. We'll just play some ranked today. We'll just play five, five matches with each deck. Okay, let's give this a try. I think we're probably just going uh, Biomancer into Mistbinder into Teferi, probably. I'm going to shock in the Hollow Fountain here just in case we draw a land that's not a shock land so we have blue and white mana in play. Paradise sure it's quite annoying. Being all hexproof and everything. Got 
don't really know exactly what we're going to do now that we're just drawing all these lands. Our deck doesn't have very many lands. We have 21. You know, like 21 is not many lands. We've, we've drawn a third of the lands already. And we have Benthic Biomancer. This would be a good time to find one of those Conclave Tribunals, take out that beast. Um, another Merfolk Mistbinder, though, is going to make every other creature four power. Gross. That was a, an above average turn. I mean, really, we need we need Conclave Tribunal, like right now. So if they have yet another removal spell, we're dead. Yeah, the questing beast, Domri's ambush. Combo is pretty good. That's a good start for us. a bad finish. And we're cleave with questing beast is infinite damage. We, we're dead. Alright, so as, this, as we saw there, Teferi Time Raveler isn't good enough in this matchup. We're taking it out. We want... So, like, Settle... Like, with Gruul Spellbreaker can just mess up Settle... But I think Settle's too good not to play. <laughs> that was that was one game, Edder. One game. Hey, Frozen Time. And Baselines, what's up? Yeah, I wouldn't say that our deck can't handle Gruel because of one... One game. Yeah, Baffle again doesn't seem bad. A Johnny doesn't seem that bad either. It's I guess I guess we'll play those over Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce, like hitting an Ember Cleave could be pretty important, but we do have Ether Gust that can still get rid of the cleave. Let's try this. You can't play creatures and beat Questing Beast Ember Cleave. It's not going to happen. You have to have removal for Questing Beast, and we did not have removal. Um. 
Um, I'm not sure if we played five color Doom. I don't. I don't think I know of five color Doom. We played a few five color decks. I don't think any with Doom foretold. I'm going to draw a card here with Kumena. So basically, I could have, dealt, could have dealt three damage, but I thought that getting... Uh, trying to get to a fourth mana with what we have here was going to be valuable. Yeah, um, Kaya or Zav Usurper. I mean, Esper has a lot of tools for the, the food decks. I don't know why you would you would say otherwise, Ross. But yeah, Kaya or Zav Usurper is one of your best options. Cry the Carnarium is very good. Um, Mortify is something that you can be playing. To destroy... <clears throat> um, destroy Trail of Crumbs. Dispark. Can let you exile Wicked Wolf. Because that card's difficult to deal with. Yeah, planner cleansing's good. And basically all the stuff that I'm describing are things that you can play in Orzhov that we're going to be playing with Orzhov Control later. Yeah, Mistbinder was a very good draw for us, for sure. Yeah, Esper is not the top of the meta, Ross. But, but telling people to stop playing Esper, you know, like if people, you know, people can play what they what they want, and it's it's better to help them find a solution than telling them to stop and just go pick up whatever generic tier one meta deck there is. Because 
people like playing magic in different ways, and so it's good to encourage that. I'm still a little worried about Luxodon. We'll see. Esper is very good in Historic. That's true. <clears throat> you get Search for Ascanta. Um, if you have a link to it frozen, you can send it to me. You can send the link to me on here, here on, on Twitch or, or through Discord. Recommend one of those two. Keep taking my merfolk. They don't really have a way to adapt the uh, biomancer. Oh, settle the wreckage. How we've missed you. Oh, okay, Ross, I got you. So they get four basic lands out. I assume they still have four basic lands. Yep. So, yeah, they're going to Conclave Tribunal this baffling end, so they get a 3-3 Dino. I would assume so, because this Conclave Tribunal is just going away for good. They'll never be able to play it again. Um, McGee, try refresh your stream. Yeah, because it shows that you're subbed, but there a notification usually pops up if you refresh your stream. Um, and then like look at the chat, like something will say, send a notification this way. Oh, they're just taking the two two. Well. go daddy mcgee thank you so much for resummon here so that's our oh that's our fourth sub of the day i was i was behind one classic me
We're gonna have to end this game pretty quickly before some big creature comes up. You know, like if they draw a questing beast, I'm dead. For example. Yeah, I could have upkeep scryed with castle, but then I'd only have one mana, and I think I need. I think I wanted more access to more mana than that this turn. Orzov super friends. I don't know if there's enough planeswalkers for that. The Orzov control that I'm going to be playing later today is kind of that. Now I know I'll have two mana. I think two mana is enough. <clears throat> Let's just cast like Trickster or Mistbinder. And good thing we activated that. We're going to draw just another land. That was going to be three lands in a row. Well, plus the land we drew, so four lands in a row. This is, of course, 14. We're not forcing them to block. So that's 10 of our... 21 lands. So even if I don't scry, it's kind of likely we draw a spell. There's 11 lands out of 39 cards. Hey, Matthew. How how is it? How's the Witcher TV show? I heard it's pretty violent. I'm not a huge fan of fan of. Violence. And <laughs> the story is jumping more than a Game of Thrones plotline. No, I don't think they have Colossus in their deck. I mean, I could be wrong. Well, good thing we double blocked. If we would have just single blocked, we would have died. So, I mean, if they have any haste creature, I'm dead. But we force them to draw a haste creature. Merfolk beating one of the best decks in historic with gruel.
All right, we're one to know. Yeah, there you go, Edder. <laughs> yeah, Discord right there. If you can't figure out, you can message me, you can just send it to me directly on there. If you can't figure that out, you can put it in like, you know, one of the, any one of the channels. Discord's, you know, for everybody. You can put it in any one of the channels. You can tag me. Hmm. It's the first time we haven't, like, had a good curve. New sub, Davros. Getting the Twitch Prime sub in here. Welcome, Davros. All right, so we're, we're tapping the elf on upkeep so they don't get to add mana with it. Fifth sub of the day. Thanks. Thank you so much, there, Davros. Yeah, Steel Leaf Champion's kind of tough. Perfect, Frozen. Thank you. Well, this isn't good. Face in the green decks. It was a pretty good hand, though. Triple land war elf. Pretty good. All right, so we'll have Ether Gust settle. Um, I could play Vivian to destroy the Great Henge. Vivian's not going to be doing a whole lot besides that. And of course, I could play Baffling Ends as well. Baffling End is great against their 3 mana 5 4. Yeah, we'll do that over to Fairy. Just don't love to Fairy against Questing Beast. I kind of think I want to play the, the two Ajani's because I could see like the battlefield getting kind of gummed up. I think I want the second Ajani instead of the second Baffling End. I mean, I, I think I was losing that even if I used the Spell Pierce. I don't think using the Spell Pierce would have 
magically won us that game. But yes, we would have been in a better position if I would have. I'd like to play Kumena's Speaker, but I don't think that we can. I, I understand. Bye. I understand. What? No land? They have another three mana five five. All right, it seems like we're playing the second baffling end. I guess we'll take out the Ajani on the draw. We'll probably be a little slower. Yeah, our hand was a lot better. Their hand was a lot worse. Uh, we've had two non-competitive games so far. Stop having turn one land or elf. This one may not go well for us. I mean, if I'm just like sitting here playing Ether Gusts. not doing anything and they're just gonna eventually pull ahead That wasn't spectacular. They don't have the fourth land with the Gilded Goose using its food. So they put it down to the bottom.
this is where Goose is not as good as Land War Elf. Alright, come on, finish this out, Merfolk. Yeah, Aether Gust did end up being very good how they were stuck on lands because they couldn't keep putting the, the cards back on top. Yeah, current, current Jund sacrifice deck would play if Goose and Land Werewolf were, were both in standard. They'd be playing Goose, not Land Werewolf. All right, two and O. Oh. Message here, real quick. Okay, we're 2-0. Oh. Yeah. 2-0 oh hype, fear the merfolk. <laughs> um, I think Gust is better than Grasp in Historic. Because uh, there's... Well, I don't know. Actually, that's close. There's a lot of red. And so, like, Gust is just amazing against Gruul in particular. But then again, there's also a lot of Esper. And so, Esper means Teferi's. And Grasp is good against Teferi. So, it's close. Um... It, it kind of depends on, like, what type of deck that you're playing, too. The... The more creatures you're playing, and the, the so therefore the faster clock that you have, the better... Um, the blue spell is. If you're playing a control deck... And they, they can just safely redraw the card again the next turn. The Gust isn't as good. I hope they don't have Questing Beast. Let's try this. Is this the same opponent? No, I am not making this up as I go. It kind of seems like it is, doesn't it? I don't know if those I, I feel like those are different forests though. Well, Teferi looks really good there. As long as they don't play Questing Beast, Teferi looks awesome. So this is something that we've been doing each time. Bring in Settle, Baffling End, Aether Gust, Cut, Spell Pierce, Teferi. And then I've been playing, like, one card. I've been playing, like, an Ajani. I wonder if I should play a Teferi instead of an Ajani. Fairy did look does look good if they don't play if they don't have questing beast. Maybe I'll play one to fairy. Let's 
So you said it's a three a three cost five four with no drawback. Well, the drawback is that it's it's limited in the the scope of deck that you're playing because of the uh, the mana requirement to play the card. That's the real drawback with the card. So they're playing Wild Growth Walkers and Branch Walkers and Vivian. Time Raveler is good against Wild Growth Walker. Vivian is super scary. Kind of want to have Spell Pierce because of Vivian. Yeah, Land War Elf's pretty busted. You have Land War Elf and you just get to spend all that mana. It's tough. Basically, I kind of want to play Teferi Xandajani, but I don't really see like the, the room to, to put them into the deck. But I kind of want to play those cards. I'm going to take out one Kumena for an Ajani. Oh, sorry. I dropped my chopstick. <laughs> Sounded like I said chopstick. Chapstick is what. We get two lands or five lands. So I don't have any white mana for Conclave Tribunal. Put that down there. Not land or elf. Not land or elf. Hey, Max.
Jade Light Ranger, you, you betray your merfolk brethren. So do you, Branch Walker. You are betrayers. So we can have Kumena Speaker trade with the Ceratops. Obviously this Yorvo is a huge problem. It's a 9-9 right now. The real question is chump it or try to kill it. Let's see, four. I'd have to trade, I'd have to trade basically everything for it. Oh, I like Silvergill Adept. I'd like to go Adept Mistbinder, but we don't have four mana. I have two draws to draw land. That's kind of risky. It's probably too risky. We have to we have to double spell so we can keep activating Kumena to put counters on our creatures. Well, that's unfortunate. Because this five force protected from blue, I can't block this thing at all. No white mana. If it wasn't for another sh shifting ceratops. I think we were going to be fine. Wasn't for a second one of those. We would have had large creatures because I could have had a counter on all these things also. We were even going to be like we were going to be fine against Yorvo. Just the second Ceratops. Well, that's unfortunate. I feel, I feel like I fought so hard for that one.
yeah, prote protection is not... It's not an enjoyable mechanic. It's why they, they went away from protection for so long. We decided to bring it back. But no, it's, it's not enjoyable. Hey, Manduba. GG's. That second Ceratops, you got me with it. I've got it. Let's slow this down. Trust me, I have a plan. Darn. Ooh. We get to steal it. It's pretty big. This might be a bad idea. Do I just want to cast Luxodon? Darn. They had another one. I won't let you win. I've got time. I don't think I'm up keeps crying. Good chance the second arena kills me. I'll be surprised if it doesn't. Looks like it's going to. I don't imagine us winning. against Phyrexian Arena from here. What do we got in our sideboard? Vivian Reed. Wrinkle.
I just don't see Teferi really doing very much. We don't have creatures I want to bounce. Like basically all we do is bounce Phyrexian Arena and slow the game down, but slowing the game down is exactly what the control deck wants. So I don't think that's what I don't think that's just the game that I want to be fighting. We have to put pressure before arena. You know, like we have to pressure their life total. I don't think that sitting back and um, I don't think sitting back waiting for Phyrexian Arenas is really what I want to be doing. Bell Spectre. New beasts are much more reliable than humans. Well, to this point, this game's gone exactly how we want. Unfortunately, I do have the Murderous Rider for Vivian. Yeah, I was I was kind of playing around a ritual of soot just a little bit. Jeez. So unfortunately, we don't have the mana for Mystical Dispute right now. Ooh, th that's good they didn't just play the 2-3 Lifelinker. That's what I was going to say, is that I was pretty worried about the 2-3 Lifelinker. Just bricking us. I played a couple of Naya decks with Rien. Nothing... Nothing amazing. It's been a while, but yeah, we've, we've played a couple of 
re-index. That was good. We got tendrils. No. It's a bunch of disfigures over there. It's going to make my life difficult. All right, let's get this game three. Let's go three one. Hey Joe, day's going very good. Starting off with a couple of sweet historic decks. Bant Merfolk, it's our first one on the docket here. All right, good opener. Yeah, this is Alan Walker, All Falls Down, and featuring other people. Basically, just don't want to let them get extra cards. Hey, Kempachi. So I know I can't play Merfolk Mistbinder, and I did this on purpose. By doing that, I'm hoping my opponent doesn't think I just shocked in for Spell Pierce as much. I'm hoping they kind of felt like I made a mistake with the mana and was trying to, to play Merfolk Mistbinder. Maybe I just should discard the shock, the shock land.
I should just discard the shock land. Because I couldn't really shock to, to play Bismiter and hold up Dispute, even though that's what I would like to do. So I don't know, that puts me down to seven. It gives them a two turn clock. I mean, I guess they technically have a two turn clock already. That was a close game. Oh, that was close. That was really close. We are three and one. Okay. One more. Merfolk's doing good. It's doing good. We played a lot of very close matches. One didn't go our way with the Ceratops. Two went our way with my opponent missing land drops against the green, and then and then that one there that was really close. I don't think there was any bad manners from my opponent that game. Okay, with the channel points, I need... I, I thought I gra went and grabbed Puppy like the, the next time. That's not bad. If you have enough channel points, you get a, a puppy match. That works. Oh, I need one more mer merfolk. I go first. I need to draw a merfolk. The reason why they went oops with the with the fell specter is because of their sequencing. If they would have played the fell specter first, then whenever they had the rankle discard, then I would have taken another two damage, and they they missed sequence there. That's why they said oops. That wasn't bad manners. Now, nah, Candace, you're wrong. This hand's not going to brick and die. This hand's going to hit. And be amazing. Look at that. The hand's perfect. So what kind of what kind of opponent moles to four and then concedes? Like what what kind of deck are they playing if they mold to four and then concede? Like mono red? No, monocolor deck. Probably a multicolor deck. Maybe an Esper deck? Hmm. I think there's a better than... Uh, I think it's a better than 50% chance that it's aggro. Like, if I had to guess, like, aggro or control... Uh, we'll play the one to fairy. I'm going to guess aggro. I'm going to do our anti aggro sideboard. <laughs> it could be any deck in need of land. True. Well, it's a green deck. We brought in a bunch of Ether Gusts. Um, I kind of just want to Ether Gust this Llanowar Elf.
No! Auto tap, you're killing me! Auto tap, no! Take it all back. I take it all back. Ouch. That hurt. Oh my gosh, why why do I never remember that we can't <laughs> we can't Lexadon ever? We can never Lexadon. I need to remember. It's not possible to Luxodon. I'm just gonna get rid of it. We can't ever cast it. It's gone. That's a lot of Hydro Crisis they milled over. So they're at 13, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. I think I would have won this game if I would have played the Luxodon. I mean, I definitely would have won this game if I would have played the Luxodon earlier. Definitely would have if I would have left it on earlier. Yeah, auto tap prioritizes leaving the castle open. Unfortunate way to lose. Obviously, my opponent didn't do anything game one, though. 
<sighs> Man, I should have won that. I would have just paid attention to the what I was tapping. Yeah, Hushbringer would be nice here. Yeah, Murderous Rider. Yeah, Murderous Rider would kill Hushbringer. They cast a lot of Murderous Riders. No! Stop having Land War Elf. <laughs> This is not good. Our 21 land deck completely flooding out. Draw three cards, they're all all lands. They have to have. They have to have like Murderous Rider and Chupacabra in hand. Because they don't have two black mana. It's the only thing that makes sense. So we get to make Kumena unblockable because of the with the Merfolk Mistbinder. So looks like we're getting this. I don't if they just have Murderous Rider or Chupacabra, like I don't think they can they can win this. Looks like their mana hurt them games one and three. And me not playing the Luxodon hurt me game two. Yeah, just too much green. Too much green. Problem with Land War Elf and um, Leafkin Druid. They only add green. When you're playing a three color deck and all your mana creatures only add green. All right, so that's, um, so there we go. There's, there's Bant Merfolk. So we went four and one. Good, impressive showing here for Bant Merfolk. I was just, like I mentioned at the beginning, I said that I was worried about having enough creatures for Luxodon, but we did a pretty good job of having enough creatures for Luxodon. Because even like sometimes, you know, we cast Luxodon for four mana and only tapped one creature, but it was still fine. Like Venerate Luxodon's a, a nice big creature. Uh, the the tempo plays were awesome. You know, like Spell Pierce, Mystical Dispute, Ether Gust, those three were awesome. 
um yeah merfolk girl i guess yeah um <laughs> the deck's better than uh land war well we'll see teferi time raveler wasn't uh anything special here but we didn't play against any decks with a lot of counter spells where it could really help out in um but still even against control as as i was kind of talking about during there i don't even, i don't think it's really that good for us in the control matchups because you know like you just bounce like their searcher's canta or their phyrexian arena for like a turn but that just all that does is slow the game down it's not really like a threat that the control opponent has to kill and just kind of slows the game down but that's good for the control deck slowing the game down but i liked it against you know it's pretty decent against some of the other creature decks doing a little bit of bouncing um helping us win the race but i'm not sure i'm not sure i, I would love it overall i don't know that's that's my least favorite slot in the deck that could maybe be something else if only there was like Oko, Thief of Crowns, that would be a better card. But Oko's banned. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Historic does kind of have all the cool cards. Ixalan, Ixalan Block and, uh, you know, Dominaria, M19. Those had a lot of fun cards. <laughs> Never say that name again. Oh, I'm, I'm glad there's not actually Oko. I'm not saying that there should be Oko or anything like that. But all, right, but all right, fun deck to start the day off with here with Bant Merfolk. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think of Splash and White in Merfolk. Let me know what you think of the deck and everything like that. But thank you so much for watching some Bant Merfolk, and I'll see you for the next video.